hello welcome back today should be a quick video we're gonna talk today about sleep apnea and the reason why I wanted to cover this is because I had a, I have a friend and she was commenting and I think there's a misconception out there about sleep apnea if you go to sleep and you wake up unrefreshed and and you feel awful like a truck hit you you should get a sleep study in and I don't know if it is a chronic fatigue syndrome thing but a lot of us that have uh, sleep apnea and I don't know if it is because of the same muscle weakness because we gain the weight when we are uh, so sick I don't know the reason I started having mine when I haven't gained that much weight so I don't know what the deal is there but you can have a sleep study and the myth that I want to bust here is that you have to snore to have a sleep apnea I never snore okay so I have sleep apnea and I never snore or anything now I would do weird noises so like I would do every now and then very seldom but I would do like a sound like a tire is hissing air out I don't snore at all so if you don't get the study done because you're thinking well I don't snore I don't have sleep apnea that's a myth <laughs> out there so you might want to check into that my quality of life really really increased since I used the CPAP and it's just a very very helpful at first it's hell it's very horrible to get used to it but um, once you get used to the mask is the best thing like I cannot be without anymore the difference in my sleep I feel so good that I don't trade it for the world even though if you told me the first few months you know that I would tell you that that would be a lie I would say no you're lying because you know it was so horrible to get used to I felt very claustrophobic and I had to try every single mask out there before I found one that I felt comfortable with so there is an adjusting period and I hate the the CPAP company also because you cannot even talk to a human being anyways with all the negative that comes with it um, the quality of life of mine is so different with the CPAP that I put up with everything, the cleaning of the machine and all that kind of stuff. The sleep studies have come long ways where not necessarily you have to go to a center. Like back then when I did it, I had to go to a center, but now they have uh, studies at home. So it's very easy to get a sleep study down these days. So don't shy because you cannot move or leave your house. Now we can just bring it to you, um, you know, the sleep study. So that's a good uh, thing to know. A quick update on how I'm doing. I started, I'm about no carbs whatsoever because I told you I transitioned slow. I'm not like most people where I can f switch it off. Um, so um, hopefully today will be my first day without that much fruit and without that much uh, carbs and I'm gonna try to do the transition to ketosis like in about three days uh, so they will be rough uh, because the first few days I feel very weak but once I enter it'll be very good and it's amazing the difference it makes in my energy just by cutting off all the carbs it's just crazy it just works for me so anyways that's where I am at and another thing is um, I finally I uh, decided on a schedule and so far this Tuesday and Thursday for posting videos is working out really good because I was just too stressed and doing horrible material because it was only I didn't have time to research or it was just not good the every day so this is less stressful for me and it's working out really good if you have any requests on a special video or something you want me to talk about please post down below oh and by the way I ask i call the peptide doctor and i ask him if i can try the geriatric one so i change it from the homeostasis peptide that way i don't have to like see if i make a difference and i can get the little bit that i am missing go up a notch and keep moving towards improvement so anyways thank you so much for watching and if you haven't please subscribe and rest well